Hello everybody, you're watching Mac Tutorial Films. I'm Orion and today I've got a tutorial for you guys on how to enhance your video quality for your EasyCap recording. This is specifically for gameplay um, because I'm pretty sure whoever's watching this, um, most of you are looking for better video quality for your gameplay. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to drag the video, the gameplay I have, into our composition. And as you can see, uh, this quality is very dry looking and it's you can see uh, little details um, let me show you such as here you can see this is very pixely and yeah it doesn't look too good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it some blur we're gonna uh, bring the contrast up for better uh, color and uh, let's get started so what we're gonna do is first this is optional you can make your video widescreen it looks better widescreen that's just my opinion but um, it'll, it'll look better when you have a widescreen because if you have it stretched out, it's not going to look too pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just drag it in a little bit like that. Now, what you want to do is we're going to take this layer and duplicate it. Just hitting Command-D on a Mac or Control-D on a PC. And for, the, for both layers, we're going to make the contrast um, 15. So what you're going to do is right-click on the layer, go to Effect, color correction, brightness and contrast, bring it to 15. Do the same exact thing with the bottom layer. Right click, effect, color correction, brightness and contrast, 15. And if, as you notice, um, the original video looked very dry and had a grayish uh, tint to it. But when you bring the contrast to 15, it brings the quality more uh, color and makes it more vivid. So what we're going to do is for the top layer, we're going to go to the arrow next to it, click on it, go to transform, bring the opacity down to 25% and close that. For the bottom layer, we're going to right click, go to effect, and now we're going to give it a blur. You're going to go to blur and sharpen, lens blur, and make your iris radius 5 and the specular threshold 0 because by default it's on 255. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Very simple. This is how it looks like. And as you can see, the uh, pixely, pixely image went away because we used a blur to uh, smooth it out. And the reason why I used the top layer as the original video file, we didn't blur it, is because you want to give it a little bit of sharpness. If I get rid of the eye, you'll notice that it's going to be too blurry. You don't want that. You want to sharpen it up just a tiny bit. That's why I bring the opacity down to 25%. So, hope this helped. Um... Oh yeah, and I'm, I want to show you how to export the video. Go to export, and I recommend QuickTime file, especially if you're on a Mac. It's going to be default. Um, so when you go to the uh, movie settings, you want to go to settings and make sure your frame rate is on 29. And uh, quality, I just leave it on high. Uh, hit OK. And go to size and make sure... For HD settings, it's going to be 1280 by 720 HD. Okay? Hit OK and hit OK whenever you want to export it. I already have it saved. Um, here, let me show you. This is how it looks like. And if I play it, it looks like that. So, yeah. Hope this helped a lot, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please ask. Don't forget to rate the video and um, or like it. And if you want more tutorials like this, subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Bye.